Hey guys, what's up? This is Amazing Animal Adventures, and um, today, actually, this morning, it's July 2nd, and this morning was Repticon. Well, it's all day, but uh, I went to Repticon this morning, and I picked out a few new animals, so I'm excited to show those to you. But yeah, I've decided what better day than today to do a reptile room. So today I'm going to be showing you all my animals, the ones I had before Repticon, and the ones I got today. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. So the first enclosure I'm going to be showing you is my 10 gallon, which is right here. Um, now I've got quite a few animals in here, so I'm excited to show you what I got in here. Here is my green anole, up there basking. And right underneath him is the brown anole. I don't know, you probably can't see that very well. But he's hanging out right down there. So here's my green anole. This is a male. Let's see, there's his dewlap. This is a really beautiful creature though, um, obviously you can see he doesn't like being held that much. So I, I don't hold the anoles too often, they're not normally handling animals, they're more of a display. But um, yeah, they're really cool lizards. And then here's the brown anole. So these guys are native to Cuba actually, but they've also invaded Florida. Now these guys have an orange do that. This is also a male, but very very beautiful. Next animal I'm to show you is my gray tree frog. Um, it could be a common gray tree frog, or it might be a copse gray tree frog. I don't know. Uh, it's wild caught, so I'm not sure what exactly it is. It's one of the two. So they're two very similar species, and the only difference is in their call and in their uh, genetics. So there's no way I can really find out because I don't have another frog to compare them to. But nevertheless, it's still a pretty cool animal. This animal, I handle a little bit more. He's a little bit more chill. I'll just kind of sit there. Sit on my shoulder or on my arm. He's really chill. Just kind of likes to have a nice little perch. Last animal in this tank is a Fowler's Toad. He likes to hide there, hang out there during the day often under the turtle shell. Well, here's a closer look at my Fowler's Toad. This is also a male animal. Forgot to mention, by the way, that tree frog right there. Uh, it's a female. Forgot to mention that, but yeah. This is a male, though. He's a cool little toad. He's chill. Next animal here is one of my newer animals. Um, now, this is an enclosure that I'm pretty pleased with. This is just a large Tupperware container I found at the thrift store. And, um... I was able to mess with the lid and turn it into a nice screen top, glued and taped it on, and uh, yeah, it works really well. Now this guy, of course, is a Pac-Man frog, as you probably already saw on the label, um, and Pac-Man frogs like to burrow themselves, so this enclosure is pretty simple. Just got some nice eco-earth in here, and then, yeah, he's buried himself back here. I'll pull him out for you, though. There you go. the peppermint pac-man frog one sec I'll go rinse him off so you can see his pattern oh yeah look at that he doesn't like to be handled but I'm gonna go rinse him off to show you so as I said this is a peppermint pac-man frog so he's got a beautiful color bluish green tint to him now he's not full grown yet, obviously, when you saw him next to my hand. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to grow him, or I keep on saying him, I don't know what gender it is. Hey, if you know a way to tell, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I don't really know, but that's fine. The next enclosure here is my turtle tank. This is a 20 gallon long. It's a, almost halfway filled with water. I've got a filter over here, some, you know, pebble substrate on the bottom, I don't know if it's called substrate, whatever you call that. Nice dock over there, and then just random rocks for decor and whatnot. Now, I've got two little turtles in here. Um, there, I freaked them out when I brought the camera over here and they're hiding. Let me grab them for you. So, this is my pond slider. It's not a radio slider, it's just a slider. I don't know, it might be considered a yellow belly. Nope, there he goes. But just a little one. Probably hatched this year. This is a wild-caught creature, but he's really adjusted really well to 
captivity. He's eating, you know, proper turtle food. At first I, he was just eating worms, but now he's eating turtle food and all the stuff he needs to be eating. So he's doing pretty well. The other turtle is the one that I got today at Repticon. Um, this is a another baby turtle. It's a Florida soft shell, so it's a really cool looking turtle. I'll pull him out so you can have a closer look at him. There's my Florida soft shell. Beautiful patterning on his back. And he's got that snorkel nose. This is the first soft shell turtle I've ever owned. And it, it, it really is a cool turtle. Nope, you want to go, don't you? <laughs> now, my last reptile enclosure is here. And today is also, this is also the last um, reptile I've got at Repticon today. But it is a really cool reptile. So this is a pastel ball python. Um, it is the first ball python I've ever owned. It's really cool looking in its coloring and um, you know pattern. It's just a really stunning snake, at least to me. I mean, you know, there's some crazy morphs out there and all that, but to me, this is really an amazing snake. Take a look at this guy. Look at that stunning yellow and orange and tan and whatever that is. It's just a beautiful. Beautiful pattern, beautiful snake. Really pleased with this purchase. Um, you know, Repticon was really amazing, all the selection they had, and I'm really happy with what I was able to come home with. But this just tops out off everything else. This is just amazing for me. When I say everything else, I'm referring to my other animals, not everything else at Repticon. But yeah, just a healthy pastel ball python, obviously not fully grown. Um, I've got her in a 20 gallon though, with uh, a pair of hides and then a water bowl of course, and then some plants and stuff for decor. I'm using eco earth, lots of people will use wood chips and aspen, sometimes even newspaper. But um, you know, I'm a big fan of naturalistic looking um, tanks. Not that, I, not that it matters to the animal, it's just I think it looks really cool, and that's why I like them. Not that there's anything wrong with aspen chips and whatnot, I just... This is what I like for my tanks, that's all. So that's all the reptiles I have, but um, I'm gonna add on my other animals at the end. I don't know if that's allowed in a reptile room video, but that's what I'm gonna do. That's why I'm doing them at the end, so if you're not interested, you can leave, but I hope you stay. Anyway, this is my Carolina wolf spider. Um, I'm not gonna pull this guy out and handle it. <laughs> because uh, it will bite me, but um, it's a pretty cool spider. This is wild caught, um, and I just feed it mealworms and other insects that I find and other spiders and stuff. Carolina wolf spider is the largest species of wolf spider. This is the first arachnid I've ever kept, but so far I've been happy with it. It's really cool. It's not a pet you can handle, but it's fun to, wa it's fun to watch it eat. And just, and it spins webs in here and stuff too. Got it, a little bottle cap for water, and then a little hide made of bark. Next thing I'm going to be showing you is my little fishbowl thing here. I've got two fish in here and two crayfish. There's my goldfish. It's kind of hard to see them because there's algae and I need to clean out the tank. And then I have a rosy red minnow over there. There's one of the crayfish. That's a larger one. They're, they're very, very small crayfish. They'll get bigger though, eventually. Last thing I'm going to be showing you is something that most of you guys probably consider weird. Uh, this is a leech. This is Placobdello parasitica. It's that little line from there. Let's see if I can get it to move for you. There you go. Yeah, he just lives in this little container, uh, and he just eats the algae off the sides, they grow on the sides, and uh, every once in a while I'll get him a fish from the pet store, and he'll just suck all the life out of the fish, and then I'll clean out whatever's left, mostly just bones and stuff. But yeah, it's a really interesting pet, not one you hear of too much. Well hey guys, thank you for watching my uh, first reptile room. Uh, if you like this video, drop a like. And um, for uh, updates about videos and stuff, go find my Twitter at twitter.com 
slash AA Adventure 2000. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Well, that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.